the Cosmic Boss, aka Cosmic Nerd, like aka Boss Carter. What's up, pimping? What is up, everybody out there? What is up, Scooter Ray? What is man, up? Man, what is man, up? Man. How you feeling? We just, feeling? Got, a little feeling? Side, we just got a little side mission today. I'm feeling yeah. good, feeling great. Hair done, you know. You know Monday, yeah, I see you a bit shaking over. for the people. Look, you know what I'm man, saying? Look, look, Willow, whip my hair back you know and forth. You see me <laughs> shaking it for the people, you know, you know. But uh, uh, so today we got this little banter bonus here, where hopefully our other guests will be coming through. You know, mm -hmm. what I'm saying we're gonna we're gonna keep it a little surprise for now. But you know, uh, boss and I are gonna kind of banter on for a little bit until. He can show up. So before I hit record, boss asked an interesting question mm -hmm. that I think everybody should hear. Take it Absolutely. away. Absolutely. All right. So there, I forget what the name of the gaming company writer article, like online gaming magazine that uh, made this. So okay. uh, they posed this question in terms of video games right now. Right now, um, you can play one right now. The rest get delayed to 2024. And it was out of these four games, all of them superhero games. You got Batman Gotham Knights. So if you're familiar with the Arkham City games, this one you play is basically all the Robins and Batgirl. Yes. You have Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League made by Rocksteady, the people that did the Batman Arkham City games and all those where you Wait, play it. Which one was That's made? Stupid. Which which one is made by Rocksteady and which one is made by uh the other people? Rocksteady is making the the Suicide Squad game. Okay. So Gotham Knights, I think, is just a new team. Be more than all, right? Yeah. And so, but yeah, those were the first two. So okay. Gotham Knights, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Third was the new Guardians of the Galaxy game that was just announced at E3 this uh, this year, like last week. And number four was Marvel Spider-Man 2, PS5. So you can play one right now. The other three get delayed to 2024. So, so I can tell you off the bat, I really don't, as of now, I don't have no interest in the Guardians game. So that can... Wait till 2024. I can feel that. I feel that. You threw me for a loop when you added Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I was going to say maybe Justice League kills, I mean, Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. Mm-hmm. But for the people out there, I am a DC head. If you see behind me, there is a giant Batman poster, but unfortunately this time I'm gonna have to go with Spidey. Mm -hmm. Same here. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I'm like, not even front. Like, I'm not it's, going it's, even. It's, it's, so, it's so easy Spider-Man for me because it's so far ahead. I could, you could even say 2025, you delay those others. And I'd be like, man, that's cool yeah. with me. Yeah. Look, because the way Spider-Man PS4 started, Progressed, middle, ended, it citations, all that, whatever kind of journalistic gobbledygook you want to get into, that game was magnificent. Yes. Like easily my top 10 games of last generation. Like I work with you. yeah, because um I that was a game like I played in platinum in a week. Mm-hmm. Like, like let's. I mean, to put it in even more perspective, I was on a work trip in Vegas, and the way I was feeling, Vegas could wait. <laughs> Vegas could wait, cause I'm playing Spidey right now. Exactly. Like I went through that game so quick. Like I got to the point where I was like, okay, I realize the game is winding down. So let me go ahead and get all these collectibles. <laughs> yeah. And I went and got all the collectibles, got all the little the, the trophies that I could get. Yeah. And then I finished it. And when those credits rolled, the platinum popped. Like I 
like I did everything before I could finish this game the first time. And so I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think did I go through the same thing? It might have been something very similar with me where I probably did everything and then beating the game popped the platinum. Mm-hmm. But yep. like I said, when I said I played through that game, literally get, getting off of work. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. Oh man, it like here's the oh, thing. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna demonstrate up. <laughs> oh, I see you. You got the red boy. You, no, that's the that's the PS4. That's that that's the berry. Oh, okay, the berry blue. Okay, but but, no. then, oh. but yeah, and then too, I mean, then Miles Morales. That was a oh. great expansion. Oh, wasn't it? Game. And then the way so, they both ended with their Yes, their credit scenes. So let, yes. let, let's not let's not spoil it too much. Even though Spider Man PS4 came out three years ago, Miles was only what last year. So still, um, you know we're we gonna we're not gonna, we not gonna spoil it. it. But let me just say this: <laughs> I am ready for What's the coming? sequel to both of them. Like I cannot wait. I I am excited to see what they can do. Like just you know, I'm excited for the I'm excited more for the fact of I have a feeling they're gonna mesh both worlds. Mm-hmm. Because you can you can you can see that they're gonna go the route of Spider-Man and Miles are gonna be together. Like, yeah, you're gonna have Spider-Man missions, yeah, you're gonna have Miles missions, and you know there's gonna be times where you might be switching between both of them. Okay, I I do see Spider Man two having both of them in there, and it's okay. gonna be just a big. Here, game. here, here's here's a question for you: If they're both in there, do you think they pull a mechanic like a Resident Evil Zero and a GTA Five, where you could switch between them both freely, and they're both doing their own separate thing? Not so much RE Zero because you had to keep switching back and forth between yeah, one yeah. and continue with the story, but uh, GTA Five, where you know, like you swap one and then all of a sudden you just jump in and one of them is just doing some off the wall shit. Like <laughs> they in the middle of a fight, let's say that is. But I can see that. Yes. Right. I can see it. I can see it. And then maybe specific missions you will have to play with. Miles or Pete, but yeah. I can one hundred percent see it. Okay. I can see, I can definitely see it. Because I, because you know they're gonna do it because they had those MJ and Miles section uh, sections yes. in the first one, and now, so you know I they're probably say, not gonna go back to that too much. Because I was about to say, if they take the MJ stuff out, I would be so happy. <laughs> I, I, I would I, I wouldn't miss it to be honest with you. The, like, uh, like the whole stealth missions, I wouldn't miss it. Like here's the thing. I didn't mind the MJ ones. It was the Miles ones that was like super Lanier for me that I didn't like. But the yeah. MJ one when she was in Norman's penthouse. Yeah. That, yeah, that one was cool. That was a cool one. That, that was cool. a good one for me. Like yeah, I love sneaking around that house with all those guards there, and yeah. then trying to get in the secret lab and all that shit. But I love I that, like one. that one. But uh, but yeah, if they get rid of those and they keep it like purely Spider Man, they got to throw Miles in there. Cause, yeah, because you have to break it up. I can one hundred percent see both of them. Uh. In this game together, mm-hmm. it's gonna just be a matter of I. You know what? I never thought about it in the in the way of like you said with with Grand Theft Auto, where you switch to Pete and Pete over there buying a slice of pizza or something, and he like, huh? Like, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, cause I still need to go back and finish the main story of GTA Five, but that shit is long. But it is. Um, you know, like you would just switch. And then, like, Franklin would just be in an argument with his homeboy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, and then when you do whatever you're going to do with him, you switch to Trevor, and he's just uh, curb-stomping somebody. Uh, and 
but somebody has something to say about you not finishing GTA Five. <laughs> Look, Iranya, it is the single player that I have not finished. Okay, it was something you never touched. Thank Ooh. you. Oh, <laughs> shots, shots. You got the game and jump straight in the online and just started slanging drugs and buying masks. That's it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, she got so. Oh, yeah, she hissing. Yeah, she a curled up snake now. <laughs> hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. I played GTA 5 strictly for the story. I never even touched online yet. Right? Like, look, I've I never touched the GTA online. It just love the story. Same thing yeah. with Red Dead. Like, I jumped in the Red Dead online. It was like, this is like the last time I played that was when we were getting hit by them cheaters. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. There were some cheaters in Red Dead Redemption Online. Uh, when me and Aranya hopped on uh -huh. and we were playing and we were just riding around trying to do missions, minding our own business, and we get sniped from miles away. Like where it would go yeah. into the 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 kill cam, that's the term, mm -hmm. and couldn't even see my character. Yeah. Couldn't even see him. And not just cheaters, but griefers as well. Like, we just trying to go in these shops and all this, and we would get roped off our horses, tied up, and then just carried around. And as soon as we were about to break free, they shoot us and then track us down oh, to do the same oh. shit. So it was like, you know, you know what? Fuck this, then. And <laughs> so we never went back to that. Yeah, I could think we're doing a single player. But, <laughs> but yeah, I haven't even touched RDR2 yet. Oh, man, look. That I, I game, it. like, here's the thing well, about this, RDR this, this two her response they, to what you say. <laughs> she says they suck. Oh yeah, them griefers suck. Like, cause like we never went back to that to that thing after that. Like, but but here's you know here's what, what I say uh, about uh, RDR yeah. two. It, it's, like, it's funny about you saying you being handled because all I can remember is us playing Dying Light and. I think Zerk and I was kind of exploring, and I don't know if you was with her, but all you hear around you, I'm getting handled. I'm getting <laughs> handled. <laughs> they handled me. <laughs> it, was the, like, it was the fear and the, and the, and the worriness <laughs> in her voice because it was like, I'm getting handled. <laughs> We got to go back to Dying Light real soon. But, anyway, but the reason that happens is because Dying Light at any game that requires a high level or even a medium to high level of analog coordination, basically mm -hmm. third person or first person type game, mm -hmm. she's going to have issues with. Not so much difficulty, just issues, <laughs> yeah, because they're not her normal type of game. So, I like, feel that. some she I, will find difficult, aka the Souls Born games. <laughs> Others oh, no. she oh, will oh, power oh, through now she, now and, and, and enjoy as hell. <laughs> so, but man, like, <laughs> get handled. Oh, but yeah, I'm like, handled. <laughs> and here's the thing I'll say about RDR2 uh -huh. in terms of open world games and what the future of those games would be. Mm -hmm. There's three games that sit at the peak right now for me, okay. Above, and we've played through many in okay. our like going back, you know, the last two and a half decades. Of yes. open world games. Number one, well, they're not in any particular order, but Witcher 3, Breath of the okay. Wild, and Red Dead Redemption 2. The Funny, reason I have not played neither one of those. I played a scotch of Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. But the other two I have not played. Here's the thing. The and, and I can give you reasons for each. Breath of the Wild first. 
because mm-hmm. you can climb up anything. It is the most yeah. physics driven overworld, period. And I've just seen, the discovery of any yeah. I've seen like, mad videos of people doing dumb shit in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, just the physics and the discovery and exploration and journey through that world is top notch. The Witcher 3, there is so fucking much in yeah. that world. And like, and I mean it is large. It is essentially three large areas. The smallest is an island that is the, that is bigger, that is about the same size of a just cause just cause open world. Damn. And like you will walk across this world or ride across on horseback. You will run into fights. You will run through towns and you will just see plenty of mission markers pop up. You will vacate the main story so far behind. Like here's, I am in the very beginnings of that game's main story and Uh, I've put maybe 40 hours in that game. Well, see, I have done maybe four story missions. Well, see, that, that was the issue I had with uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Mm-hmm. I loved Assassin's Creed Odyssey, yeah. especially uh, Cassandra. I think, to me, Cassandra is one of the best women characters and overall characters in gaming probably within the last 10 years. Like, if I have to make a top 10 list, Cassandra is in the top 10. Okay. The issue I had with it was the fact that they had that marker and all them question marks were on mm-hmm. the marker. And it was like, oh, I want to go over here and see what this is. Oh, I want to see what this see, is. So, see. so, wait, hold on. So, so there were times to, to like mm-hmm. put it in geographical terms. I'm supposed to be in Sugarland doing the mission. I'm all the way in like Louisiana. <laughs> and it's like, wait. I'm nowhere near the mission, but there's so many question marks that I must go to. Here's the thing. I, cause they came on sale like two years ago, two, three years ago. Mm -hmm. The, like, it was like shortly, like six months after Odyssey had released. Mm -hmm. Uh, They came in a tool, a dual pack, uh, Origins and Odyssey. Yeah. Like you got the ultimate editions of each for like 30 bucks. And I was like, go on here, slide me that. Like (laughs) I jumped into Origins. Man, there is so fucking much in that world. And like, mm-hmm. it is so fucking populated. Like, I'm over here trying to find this serial killer who has me on this island of crocodiles that are all red skulls. And it's like, I can't kill none of them. <laughs> so I'm just up here trying to climb these columns. Like, just don't fall, because that's my ass. But, <laughs> you know, like, those games are just so fucking large. And... Mm-hmm. But that's the thing. And like, even to go back to the other three, like that's the Witcher. Like you, there's just so fucking much, but everything, every story mission or even side mission you do is insane and deep as just any other game's main story missions. Like one, I could just run off a couple side missions that don't have nothing to do with the main story. Yeah. There's the, you run in the swamps, you run across this little wild boy little mm-hmm. like child look like a little demon he's wild and lives out in the swamps by itself mm-hmm. you basically stumble upon his nest you leads you down a pack that these three fucking witches <laughs> live in the swamps and they eat children they kidnap children they boil them and these are like hag they're called the crones it like man like and if like the way you go about and talking to people and you get to there like you can either kill them, side with them, and, or a whole bunch of other shit. And just like, they'll just leave you alone. Others, mm-hmm. like, there's this one with the Red Baron that you meet. He's like this ruler over this one little township. Mm-hmm. You come to find out, he, he hires you for a mission to go find his wife and daughter. Mm-hmm. What happened to them? Oh, they ran away. <laughs> because he beat them, like, abused them. Mm-hmm. He beat the wife so bad she like went mute for a time, caused Damn. her to have a miscarriage. Uh, the daughter wants nothing to do with him. Uh, you go find the wife to try to bring her back. That's when you mm-hmm. find all this shit out. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I forget. She's either sick or cursed at this point. 
But like she's yeah. under the spell of the crones, which is another way you can go back and end up finding them. You come back, you tell him that they're not coming back, and then you shame him for it. And then like you could basically talk him into wanting to absolve himself. You basically have to go find where he buried this miscarriage because this this was a miscarriage and like this baby was like six months. So mm -hmm. it's now become a monster. <laughs> so yeah. So you have to basically escort him to go get this thing. And if he doesn't keep it calm and happy, it will grow to the size of like a griffin and eat us all. <laughs> and so like you could like if you don't escort him perfectly back to where he says the, and performs the rites, and you got to kill this monster and it's going to kill him. Fortunately, I was able to get it through, get him all the way up there and he was able to resolve himself. But like another one, you had to find a serial killer who is killing men and basically just eating their essence, basically. And then you find it's a succubus. I let her what go. The WTF and these are all side missions? These are side missions. Like, And she was a succubus and I let her go because she's black. And I was like, oh, you go on ahead, sister. <laughs> like, you do, you doing the Lord's work. You go on ahead, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> so, <laughs> but like, yeah, these some intense ass side missions. <laughs> but yeah, like, it, that's the in the Red Dead Redemption Two is kind of the same thing, just more of the combination of the other two. You just yeah. journey around, you discover shit. You can end up finding a a, a cabin in the woods where this guy. Well, basically says he like <laughs> if you wake up, he'll he'll offer you in a drink. You wake up the yeah. next day, he's gone, and your butt hurts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 <laughs> you didn't got delivered. <laughs> Another uh, this one. Was, this was... <laughs> All right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Another one. You find this. Um, you go on this mission to find this family, and, and you find out they're a bunch of uh, hills have eyes type cannibals, cannibals, and. <laughs> Another, uh, you run across. I ran across this other house doing this mission, looking for this, um, this revolver, mm -hmm. and this woman sitting there talking about it, like, you know, my husband will be back, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm walking in the house, and I notice the pictures, and I'm like, that's your husband, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, we've been together since we were kids, and I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm hmm brother and sister <laughs> yeah <laughs> they done right, killed, hold on, they hold killed on. the parents <laughs> and now they're married <laughs> okay hold on all yeah. right so, all right people so we got to mm -hmm. do this right in grand fashion you know don't adjust your screens this is the first time ever we have a less than stealthy ninjas slash the average gamer crossover right now so welcome in lip dizzle or lip diesley if you're nasty welcome welcome sir we can't hear you your, your audio Bam, how we how we signing now? Oh, there you go. There you, there you go. go. And, All even, right, perfect. and even uh Aranya wanted to what's happening. Uh, but but we gotta say it right though. We gotta say the first, first of many. First yes, of many. Yes, you're right. The first Absolutely. of many. So, <laughs> so if 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 people do keep up, I do represent mm -hmm. both brands here, the average mm -hmm. gamers and less than stealthy ninjas. So it's just all one big circle here. All so encompassing all circle. So right now, uh, Mr. Mr. Dizzle, bosses regaling us in the tales of Red Dead Redemption here, because mm. uh, you know, he's <laughs> yeah, telling me about some of these wild Scooter, Scooter has not played it. Are you? Yeah,
<laughs> so I was telling him how I ran across run one house, and this mm -hmm. woman was uh, telling me like, you know, my husband will be back soon, but I'm inside and I'm just looking around, and I noticed the pictures, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, that's your husband, and it come to find out, she's like, they've been together since they were kids, and you like, oh. And then you find out their brother and sister, and they killed the parents. <laughs> like, huh. <laughs> and they've been married ever since. And I'm just like, well, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, Wait, so like, you, you haven't played any any uh any Red Dead Redemption one or two? I played the, I played the first one, but I haven't played the second one yet. Mm. So yeah, I played the first one. Okay. So, now that now that Mr. Dizzle is here, we can get to our main subject at hand. So mm. boss said he's seen an article similar to mine and maybe the same one. So basically, I woke up this morning and I saw an article discussing that it's been a year since The Last of Us 2 has came out and mm. that the controversies that still surround it. Mm. Uh, I think so, that might be the same one I, from The Collider. I think so. Okay. That's the same one I saw. So, um, all three of us have played and beat this game, and I think we all might have three different opinions of the game. So, first things first I want to ask is, did y'all see any controversies personally with the game? I mean, yes and no. I mean, I've, okay. I've had, I had, I had my own gripes with certain things, but as far as like a general consensus of why a lot of stuff that people were pissed off about, yeah, I can see that. Like, I mean, spoiler alert for those who haven't played, you haven't played. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before we, before we get into this, people, mm -hmm. full fledged spoilers will be happening. So if you have okay, not cool. played The Last okay. of Us 2, do not listen to the rest of this. We going all the way in with spoilers and everything. Mm -hmm. So if you hadn't played it, then look away but yeah my, yeah my uh my my gripe which was like a lot of people's was the fact that you know joel dying within like the first what hour of the game if that yeah and i feel that the overall game itself felt like it should have been like a third installment i felt like the the flashback stuff that was going on they could have easily had that as like a part two and then they could have had this going on because you could have easily introduced abby within like the second installment and then gone through and done this shit. Cause it would, it would have made a lot more sense with like Joel's death and everything like that. But just, it, it kind of, it left a bad taste in my mouth because I didn't like Abby in the beginning. And I had to come around to with the, with them forcing me to play her the way that they did. It forced me to accept her in a way. So that's kind of what pissed me off. Like I didn't get a chance to do like in the first game where it's like I was in the relationship with, you know, uh, Ellie and Joel and kind of going through that whole aspect and going through that, that, that whole ride with this. It's like you put Abby in that position to be like, oh, you are forced to play with this person. You are forced to like this person. You are forced to accept this person as is. So, yeah, very conflicting. Okay. So. In terms of controversies um, that I personally saw, I saw none. Like, okay. to this day, I love this game from beginning to end. May probably, it's a, it, it probably will go back and forth if I dive into my 10 favorite PS4 games. Like, yeah. it's going to either be number one or number two. Like, just mm. everything. Okay. I, like, in my... Let me guess. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me guess yeah. the other one being God of War. God of War <laughs> God of War will fight there's like two three others that God of War will fight for that that second place if if Last of Us 2 is number one uh -huh. God of War is fighting that second place spot with like at least three others that being Bloodborne Persona okay. 5 okay. and Overwatch oh, Overwatch nice because I put nice so yeah. many hours into that game like I same same like you know, but like so, it's 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 it, it's in a battle royale for that number two spot. If if okay. I put Last of Us two as number one, but but that's not the discussion. But Last of Us <laughs> two, that was a run like, response. 
(laughs) 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 But like The Last of Us 2, like Mm -hmm. I did my best to stay away from the leaks, from the spoilers, because, you know, people got upset during the middle of the pandemic when this when they started, like, you know, why was this getting delayed? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what? I'm not reading to that. Yeah. Oh, to Bloodborne. Yeah, <laughs> she <laughs> she never made it out of Yarnum. That's that's not here nor there. But <laughs> oh, oh well, that, okay, that makes sense then. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> like uh, like I so I did my best. So I did not know what was going to happen. Was going to happen. I had a feeling because mm-hmm. I was like, why are people upset? Like, yeah. there's only a few things I could think that like, people would be upset by, and I was like. You know, because my mind, the trailers we all saw, rem- <laughs> if y'all remember, the way they showed the trailers, it made it look like her girlfriend was going to get, was going to be the one that was going to get kept. That's, yeah, yes. it, that's true. Yes. Like, if you watch, if you go back and watch those trailers, it's like, it you is. know, they just show her more. They show Joel rarely. They show, like, it's like, people were up to that game release when and they that- thought Joel was going to be in there. <laughs> Hello, we're, not, Tina. <laughs> we're not trying to shame her, Tina. It's just we we know how she is towards those type of games, and it's just yeah. tad bit funny, <laughs> right? We, you know, but, we uh, still love her though. Yeah. So, but like, if you remember, like, there were people like the speculating that either Joel was dead or like he like was not going to be the playable character which a naughty dog confirmed they didn't say if he was dead or not they just say you're going to be playing as ellie throughout this whole game yeah, yeah. and i was just like okay well so you know something's to gonna happen that, to him well so, don't forget to at that e3 event we went to they showed that trailer with dina and ellie so it met, definitely made it seem like something was like she happen like, to dina. like to her like it, yeah. they didn't give any kind of like clue that something was gonna happen to Joel, and then yeah. when it did, I was just like, "Okay, that's where we going." And so, and now it was like, from that point on, when she was sitting at the grave in the town, I was like, "We need to go get these people because they didn't they didn't cap the boy." And here's the thing, I played through the first one so much, I mm-hmm. love that first one. Same. My I don't know how, how anybody else feels about this, but at the end of that game, I did not like Joel. I I appreciated <laughs> everything. Here's the thing. No, no, no. Let me say this. I appreciated <laughs> everything he did, and I enjoyed him as the end. Like, he was the hero up until the hospital. When, he, when the hospital happened and he made the choice, well, basically, they forced you to make the choice, kill mm-hmm. all the fireflies, and take Ellie. At that point, when he walked in that surgery room and he capped the doctor and he walked out with her, he was the villain from that point on. So let me ask you this, since since we are discussing Last of Us in general, and that that was Mm -hmm. brought up in two. Yeah. You wouldn't have made that same decision? I I don't know. I most likely, I probably would have, but then I would still be the asshole that doomed the rest of humanity to live in this hell for selfish yeah. reasons. Do we know it would have worked though? That that, that was now that's what my stance is too. On yeah, that. that's, that's, the that's the point. We don't, but it was a chance. That's it true. was a chance. That's like now, like now, like you could look at like if you like watch any horror movie about zombies or any horror movie about where a contagion happens, if mm-hmm. you have a chance at a cure. You like take that shit, like, <laughs> like <laughs> take it, like, cause I'm not gonna try to sneak around these motherfuckers forever, like. That's true. Yeah. Like you know, like take it. Somebody do something, like, cause eventually it's gonna wear on you. You just gonna be like, like we see it all the time, whether it be The Walking Dead, like the Night of the Living Dead. Eventually, people's mental just goes out the window, and they cap hey, themselves. You, know what? you brought like, up a great point. There are two types of people who are in this world today in that mm-hmm. game. You're either born into this world or you've seen it firsthand when it all went down mm-hmm. and you survived. It. Yes. 
Correct. So if you if you're part of the second group, there's no way your mental is going to keep up. Mm-mm. No, no way. Mm-mm. There's no way. And like we saw that with the and we saw that in the first one. Remember when they went to go see Bill? Yes. Oh, How, yeah. When they went looking for his boyfriend, and his old boy was hanging in that in that living room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, he was tired. He was done. Like yeah. so, <laughs> you know, like it's you gotta like you gotta think about like that like even we we all just went through a pandemic and how the suicide rates went up like you know people just can't handle like that's just that's not even zombie related that's just I a mean, simple and, I mean and don't forget <laughs> they even explored it with Avengers Endgame because everybody going into Endgame did not mm-hmm. expect for them to say it was five years in between Thanos and Snap <laughs> no <laughs> No, especially not see Captain America in a, basically an AA meeting. Like, look, yes. you, like this is bad. Like, like we all fucked right now. Like this, like that's the thing. Like you, like even if it hadn't worked and she would have passed, like you mm-hmm. had to take that chance because otherwise you had the clickers, you had the bloaters, you had the the regular just runners. Like it was. And then all the the hunters and the bandits that just like will ambush you and just kill you and take the clothes off your back. Like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. you gotta take that chance. And at that point, when he took that chance and opportunity away for selfish reasons, not entirely for hers, because remember, she wanted oh, to oh, go. No, it was 100% selfish. Like yeah, she yeah. wanted to go. So he and then he lied to her face, and we all saw. How that first one ended, how she looked dead in his eyes was like, okay. Like you could see she didn't believe him. Fam, yeah. I, I like, gasped at that end. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like the thing is, is that you didn't still know that was the end. And next mm-hmm. thing you know, she was like, look me in my face and tell me the truth. And then he go and then he lied right to her. And then you just see that shot of Ellie. And I was like, <gasps> right. And then the and it just cuts the black, and then the guitar it comes on. And like, <gasps> and it's like, what? Wait, come back. <laughs> and, then, and, this, and you know what? And this is the good thing about it, too. Cause because one, Naughty Dog storytelling. I mean, you think about in the whole Uncharted series, but thinking about how the beginning of Last of Us One started. And then, of course, with the with the with the decision that Joel made, because again him reliving the fact of him losing his daughter in the beginning. Yes. Yes. It's, 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 it's very conflicting and they do such a good job. Even in part two, they make a lot of things very conflicting. And again, now boss, I don't, I don't know how you feel or how, how you felt about, you know, the introduction of Abby and then having to play Abby, but the, the way that they do the whole conflicting with, with her taking out Joel, the way she did, and then having to play her, it's, it's it's a whole just just roller coaster of emotion that you go through during that time mm-hmm. to where it's like I don't even know if I even care to 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 run her through this shit because I she can die for all I care that and that, that's the mindset that you go through when you're playing it up yes. to the point to where you get the characters that surround her and it's like damn like she's a, she she's a, she's she's human she's an actual yeah. person she got friends she has family and that's what I mean by like the whole forcing you to care because it's like you you can't like you you had to be evil to sit there and then play this and then not give a shit about what's going on in her life after they've showed mm-hmm. everything that's going on so now 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 I, I bring the question to you boss how did you feel when abby was introduced and you had to play her here because here's how i felt so when they first have you play as her she's looking like her and her and the people her and her friends are out there looking they're in the snow and i'm like who the fuck are yeah. these people <laughs> like so i didn't i don't know why they were there they didn't they didn't say any names up until joel rescued her like that's true when they, when they finally got back to yeah. the fence and they were like and he was like he was like yo this my brother tommy my name's joel and then you see everybody in there like what oh yeah this yeah, yeah. like you know nobody said any names up until that point and then next thing you know, she comes out of nowhere with that shotgun and just bow right there in the kneecap with that howl. Like, mm. <laughs> just like <laughs> up until that point, I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck is happening here? Like, like, what what's go who are these people? And then then the golf club happened, and I was like, 
we got to kill every one of these people. I'm like, right. you know, I'm right. like, none of them, none of them going to live. Like, I, so, let me, they better not let, give me no kind of like quick time event because <laughs> I'm going to fail it once or twice toward the end just to see, relive it. Cause, so let me, uh, let me rewind back. So my personal mm-hmm. controversy I had with it personally, I thought the game was too long. And I never thought mm. about it until what, what okay. you said was that some of the flashbacks could have been his own game. Yeah. Then it could have led up to it. Now, getting back to it, you know how much revenge is on your mind to where this man just saved your life. And then when you realize who saved your life, oh, it's still on sight, my guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's the thing. Like, that's the thing. It's and literally, like, it's a, the whole time I'm playing with uh, 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 Ellie, I'm like, get to the house. <laughs> as soon as you walk into the house. Like, oh, like that was the thing. I'm like, I'm gonna get there in time. Like I'm, I'm thinking of like I'm thinking of it like from an open world RPG perspe- uh, perspective. Yeah. I'm gonna get there in time. Like I'm gonna save him. <laughs> like I'm gonna save him. <laughs> I'm gonna save them both. <laughs> and then like and it didn't happen. And then like you didn't play like if I remember correctly, you didn't play with Abby again until. Like they in they the uh theater, Ellie and uh, Dina got to the was it the, the theater? theater? Yeah, the theater, and yeah. then they hear that commotion after waking up, and they come in there and like so the old buddy's on the ground, and she's like, "We let you live, and you wasted it." And she points the gun at you, and then they just completely swap you over to Abby, and it's at that point you wake up in the stadium. <laughs> Yeah, and all these people they got farming going, they got dogs running around, they got children in school, they got on announcements talking about it's burrito day. What the fuck is going on here? Like y'all, like, and then you could just see like these people live in lavish, like yeah. <laughs> and so and they and were well organized to, too. Yes, and they are well organized, like they got a system. Like even more so than the fireflies were. Like this, yeah. like this shit is on a whole. Like you can see how they locked down a city, and so, so to go back to what you kind of asked, uh, boss Dizzle. The issue I had with Abby was, don't wait until everything went down and then showed me, oh, she's at the revenge because that doctor you killed was her dad. Yeah. It was like, it's a little too late. Now, <laughs> granted, did I start to feel for Abby a little bit? A little bit. Especially yeah. what happened at the end when we get there. Now, mm-hmm. the the controversies was, of course, one with Joel dying. Joel mm-hmm. had to go. Yeah, he had to go. Yes. Yes. Your, he past had to go. Go. Your past will always catch up exactly. to you no matter what Joel, you do. It's always going to catch up to you. I mean, if you look at it, Joel was either going to die by a sacrifice or like you just said, his past was going to catch up. Joel mm-hmm. wasn't going to make it out this game, regardless of how we felt. Exactly. Because remember in the first one, like when L.A. and then was sitting there talking about when he first got to Pittsburgh and those bandits and that guy was like, help. And he was like, oh, no, that's a trap. Like, how do you know we used to do it to people? Like mm-hmm. you remember, like him and Tommy were them people that just ambushed and killed mm-hmm. folks. So you know, like that was probably a whole. And then he was a smuggler. And remember how mm-hmm. him and Tess killed old Bud because they just he didn't have their guns. And it was like you you pissed off a lot of people well, in the twenty I mean, years since this shit happened, didn't you? And don't forget, like, don't forget when they kidnapped Joe, he was like, "Are we gonna do this? Like, are we gonna do this? Y'all gonna keep talking?" Like, 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 right? like, 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 Joe knew, <laughs> Joe knew then this was the end. He knew yeah. right then and there that fam, I ain't about to make it out this cutscene. Like, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> like, cause, yeah, cause, like, he had done it enough. He knew his time was up. Like, he knew it was over for him because up until that point, like, if you, like, when you first get control of Ellie and you were like walking around the house, you go in his room, you see, like, he's tried to change. In like mm-hmm. the five yeah. or so years between the first and the second one, like you see, he's got all these handcrafted guitars, all mm-hmm. these little models and pictures he done drew. Like you know, he's tried to change, he's tried to wipe his hands of blood, but like it's gonna catch up. <laughs> human nature is gonna catch up with you. Like you piss somebody off the right way, they gonna come for your throat, 
and they so, did. Uh, and we were kind of leaning into it. So another controversy was revenge is bad. Revenge is bad. Uh, okay. Uh, Mr. Dizzle, what are your thoughts on the whole revenge is bad controversy? Okay, th- so this is going to be a a, 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 bi- a bigger a bigger response to this shit because this this goes with a lot of other shit. When we talk about a moral compass, mm-hmm. this is where the whole deal of cancel culture comes into play, and and it being the effect on entertainment, games, movies, TV, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. When you have to say something like that. It's 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 contradictory to say something like that when you allow everything else going on. Like you had no issues with the way that TV has a narrative and they do certain things here and there. You have no issues with, you know, if you again, if you bring in Marvel, you know, thing, they went for revenge to go after Thanos. No one ever said that was bad. Mm-hmm. Thanos snap, they went for revenge. Nobody, nobody criticized that at all. It's one of these situations here where you have a game where people look for something to be mad about. I've had my gripes with Last of Us 2 for certain reasons, but I've come around. Because, again, if you look at the game as a whole, it is a masterpiece, narratively speaking. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about revenge, there are consequences. And that's been a big thing. And just like you guys have brought up with the whole Joel thing, Joel made a decision. There are consequences to those actions. So when you talk about revenge, Abby, as as negative as it was in the beginning for me to play her, in my opinion, it made sense because Mm -hmm. he made that decision to kill those doctors. She went out for revenge. His past was catching up to him with her growing up and going after him. So. I don't even think revenge is even the the best way to say it. I think karma is the best way to say it. Mm. You're right. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, I can agree with that because what you got, boss? What you got? Saying, people saying revenge is bad. Like here's the thing: her going to get what she saw as justice. Mm-hmm. We we've all said like he had it coming. However you yeah. feel about Joel, at that point, no matter how much you try to change. He had it coming. And by the time I was like through to that game, like he, the part that made me turn around and start liking Abby was when she ran into the sisters, the, the, the mm. siblings. Yes. The siblings yes. in the forest. When she yes. ran into her, what was it? Uh, Lynn and I mean, Yara. Lev, yeah. Was, was it Lev? Lev and Yara. Lev. Lev. Okay. The, yeah. tra- the, the trans character and the sister Yara. Like, mm. When when she started to protect them, who she had been in this war with for fucking ever, like remember, like even wait, like wait, the wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me interject right quick. Yeah, the sacrifice was the scariest things I ever came across in like Man, the last look. five years. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I was walking through that park and I heard that whistle, I'm like, the fuck is this? And then I hopped over that bank and I got an arrow in the shoulder. No, bro. Who, who out here? <laughs> like, who out here? <laughs> like, I was, and, I was and not only stomach that, crawling for a while. They <laughs> were out there. They were out there. In cloaked. But anyway, so, like, you remember, like, like as you progress through playing with Abby and she's talking with them and then you find, like, you know, they just worship this and they're just peaceful and they all this and they just trying to get back to nature and they get into the discussion like they don't even remember there was a truce once upon a time mm-hmm. they don't mm-hmm. even remember who fired the first shot who broke that truce like like it was they like in the, was little, in the little documents that you find it was like it was it was your people that did it no it was yours blah 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 it was like okay it's basically the same thing about war we don't know who started it but it's going on and it's just gonna continue to go on until either we're all gone. Yeah. Not only that, not only that, <laughs> the war was happening so long that they even had a slanderous term when when they was being called scars, and yeah. Yara and Lev kept saying, "Stop calling us that." So, Correct. so that just mm-hmm. lets you know that they had technical racial terms for the <laughs> Seraphite. <laughs> you yeah. know, so that's just yeah. how long 
and how <laughs> that rivalry was to where they had racial terms for each other. So right, and like, uh, and to like jump ahead from there, that's what that, like that's where I started feeling for Abby. Like that's where I started to come around. But jump ahead and skip so many steps when you saw what Tommy was doing by himself with just that long rifle. Like boy was yeah. boy was capping everybody. Well, hold <laughs> on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> right. I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Mr. Dizzle remembers this because I said it on our first episode of Vote with Your Wallet. And boss, I've told you this, and I still stand by this a year later. Oh. Tommy <laughs> is still a whole ho. He said, fuck Tommy. <laughs> fuck Tommy. Tommy is a whole ho. And we'll get to that in a minute. But Tommy okay. is a whole ho. But, but <laughs> basically, skip past that part with Tommy doing his thing. Then uh, basically, like, all these people. Wait. Hold on, hold on. Before you continue right quick. Regardless of Tommy being a whole ho, goddamn that man can shoot. Whoo! He was plugging my ass many a times. <laughs> <laughs> but getting across that freeway was just like, look, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, I need some, I need some smoke grenades and flash bangs real quick. <laughs> but <laughs> like, but like skip ahead to that past all that. And Ellie was catching up to all her friends, all Abby's friends. And it was just like when she killed the pregnant girl. And it was just like, mm. yeah. you got to let this go at some point because, like, this can't keep happening. And then you had the showdown between the two of them in that theater. And Abby had her dead to rights again. again. Like, yeah. again. This, this is like the if third it time. Wasn't for Lev, if it wasn't for Lev, Abby would have, I mean, not Abby, Ellie would have been done. Oh, yeah. she would have been done. And it was just like, don't let me see you again. And it was like, and Dina gave her that ultimatum. You go. You won't see me or the baby ever again. And she steps went. In, steps in Tommy. Let me let me interject. Steps in <laughs> Tommy. Because one, Tommy got shot in the fucking face. Yeah. He did. And now he looked like the elephant man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he did. Dina, Dina had the baby. They living on the, 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 the fucking farm on the pair, uh, little farm, I mean, little house on the prairie type shit. Jesse uh, got hurt because, because, of, because of that. Like, remember that? And, like, like, mm. yeah. And then he he come like you said, half elephant man limping and shit. Hey, you promised me, and it was like, fam, <laughs> you barely made it, right? You like, we barely both barely made, made it. it. Like, like <laughs> what do you mean? And then like, and look, and look, when that scene happened in my head, I was like, y'all are even. Yes, they right, killed right, Joe. At that point, yes, they it killed uh, Oh, buddy, I can't the remember his name. Tied. Let it go. Like yeah. the score Let was tied at that point. Let it go. <laughs> like that shit go. But like she Actually, had that, no. she had that epiphany Actually, in that no. flashback was like no, Ellie, Ellie and Tommy killed more of their people than what she did. Correct. Like they came and killed one. <laughs> Yeah. They went and caused a whole bunch of shit to where they, all her friends got capped. Like, yeah, you saying. gotta let that go. And then you come, like, when they went back to uh, Abby and Lev, and then Lev had her hair, and they got caught by, what was that group? The Rattlers. The Rattlers. And then yeah. a few months pass, and Ellie catches up, and then you, find, you finally find them on those fucking poles out on the beach. Yeah. I was like, let them go. Like just l let it stop at that point. And then like she literally like like look like and once again this plays into mental mental health. She literally sat there, they got on the boat, and she was like, Nah, fam, we still gonna do this. And Abby was like, like fam. No, we're not. Yes. And, like and Ellie pulled out that knife and like we is or I'm <laughs> and she pulled it to Lev's neck, and I was like, the fuck are you doing? Like just let it go. Let it, like, go. let it go. Like just and then like after that whole fight, she lost she ended up losing two yeah. fingers. Two fingers, yeah. yeah. Which <laughs> which is fucking crazy because during that whole game, all these fucking mini games with the fucking mm -hmm. guitar. Man, <laughs> boy, look, 
<laughs> like, look, that was the thing. You notice that too, right? Like all those yeah. little moments. She was sitting up playing the guitar. And then she at the end when she goes back after losing them fingers and all her shit is in that little room and they left her. She tries to play the guitar and she can't get the notes right. And you realize these are the consequences of your decisions. Like you alone and you can't do shit that Joel taught you to do. So <laughs> like you like it's like like this, like he said, narratively, this was a masterpiece. Like, and it's mm-hmm. It's, it's so many things and so much stuff that you just have to analyze. Yes. Like when people say games are art, and I don't just mean pretty or visually stunning, this is one you could put up and be like, this is art story wise. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. And th- that's like, because there's so there's so much to unpack with 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 shit like this. Um, and that's and th- this is why I disagree with their whole um, gripe about the whole thing about uh, revenge is bad, and it's more about karma because of the fact that mm-hmm. this is, let's 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 take Ellie into into consideration here and think about mm-hmm. she sought she she left on a on a mission for revenge. Abby let her go once. She still kept going. She let her go again. She could have stopped right there. She had Dina, she had the baby, she had a home. Everything was fine. They all got mm-hmm. away with a few casualties. But she couldn't let it go. And then she went back, saved Abby, tried to kill Abby again, lost two fingers mm-hmm. and just like Scoot said, you can't you can't even do the one thing, the one thing that Joel left you because mm-hmm. you allowed revenge to consume you. And you just could not let it go. Correct. Now, like <laughs> in terms of revenge is bad, there the only time I the only gaming franchise I could think of where revenge is bad is not Le- the Last of Us or even Part Two. It's those first six God of War games. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. God of War one, two, three, the two handhelds, and what was the other one? Ascension when they had the most Ascension, yeah. But you know, we tend to kind of forget about Ascension. You know, you can leave Ascension. <laughs> we, we do, we do. This yeah, character, Kratos, you know. probably one of gaming's five greatest badasses in history. Yeah. Yes. Because and in through actions entirely his fault. His fault. Spartan warrior general leading wars. When he got his ass kicked by what was the um not the he wasn't the Mongol, the what was that group's name? Look, you, you remember from the first one, the big bearded mm-hmm. one that came back as like a mini yeah. as a ball later. Like he asked for help from the gods and they gave it to him. And then through your own blind rage, you killed your own family, and then you put the blame not on yourself, but, but on the, the gods. And yeah. then you beg them to help you forget, which they don't really have the power to do. You need therapy. And so yeah. you just kept <laughs> going around doing whatever you thought was necessary to help you forget shit instead of what you needed to do. And then you just killed God after God after God after innocent people. Like, remember in the first game to even get through the temple, he had to drag an innocent dude in a cage mm-hmm. to be sacrificed on flames. <laughs> like, and, and that game, and, and, and look, and look game. hey, boss, boss, I, how we tend to say it, his man had cloth, a leather skirt with no, fur, hold on, hold on. with no pockets. Hold on, Couldn't hold on, hold carry on. a foot. He had a, like, he had a loincloth full of weapons, but there was not a fuck in that loincloth. Fuck in his in his daughter belt <laughs> at all. At all. All those weapons can fit, but he couldn't fit a fuck in there. And then the last with God of War three, when he was killing the principal gods of Olympus. Yeah. When he killed a, when he killed Poseidon, and that flooded the world, and you as the player could see his actions, but he was still blind to it. You like fam, you destroying the world right now. When he killed Hera and all the plants and vegetation died. Like when he killed Hades and all the souls escaped and the dead came back. It's like, bro, I mean, you and, 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 and only that, but only that don't forget how they tricked you with the Zeus thing, how you just kept tapping circle. 
If you oh, like, man, look, yeah. you I, like, was, I, I was, was pressing that minutes. button for a good 15 minutes. Like, I didn't think it was done. <laughs> I look like I do better. You weren't gonna trick me and come back on my ass, no. <laughs> so, like that man destroyed the world, got stabbed, and then crawled off a cliff and ended up in a Norse world. Like that is where you could say revenge is bad because he killed possibly billions for his own yeah. personal gain. Like <laughs> so, you know. Like we could talk about what Joel and in the revenge in The Last of Us One and Two, but Joel didn't do what he did out of revenge. That wasn't revenge. That was out of love. The way he yeah. saved Ellie, like you know, and doomed the world. That wasn't vengeance. <laughs> what so, Abby thought was, was vengeance yeah. was actually justice. What Ellie was doing was vengeance, and yeah, so mm -hmm. you know, and it left her you with can't, that. So, you know, I can't really say Last of Us 2 is about vengeance or that vengeance is bad. Like, I can't I can't put that on that on that narrative. I can't do it. Well, I think a lot what happened was the game did come out last year. Mm -hmm. And at that time we were all sitting at home and you had a lot of these people who probably really don't play video games like that, who was making these big ass think pieces. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes, sometimes a game is just a game. Sometimes one plus one is two, and they was making these grand things in their head, and it was like, I didn't even think about all of this. Like, yeah. how did that come across your mind when you was playing this? But this is where we're at now. <laughs> well, now, right? Well, go ahead. No, I mean, we got to think about it like this. I mean, especially with, with a lot of people having their gripes and their opinions on all this stuff that could that could even that out. We didn't have these same issues in Last of Us 1 because, I mean, th think, think about it now. Let's say Last of Us 1 came out right now and you mm -hmm. think about um, Ellie's boss fight with um, with uh, David. I think David. I know you yeah, David. David. Yeah. The scariest boss fight ever. You think you think about that, and you think about how 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 cancel culture is right now. You think they would let that shit slide right now with a boss fight like that? Because I mean that, uh, just like you said, it is a scary boss fight. If you think about Ellie being a little girl, and, and, and what and, he was saying, correct? Yeah, because that, that was what that was what twenty twelve, twenty eleven, yeah, twenty twelve, twenty thirteen. Yeah. So for the people okay. out there. He implied sexual assault and yes, cannibalism. Was going, it was going to happen. Was like, excuse me? <laughs> yeah, to a little girl at that time. That, that's what he was implying. And, and, and to think about it, he didn't care that the restaurant was burning down. He was still no, trying to get it. Yes. No, he locked the doors with that shit on fire. He was going to get what he wanted. And like, and the man had a machete. What was it? Uh, No, he had a, a gun. No, 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 he had the machete. Yeah, he had the machete. Oh, no, wait a minute. Yeah, he had the machete and a gun. Mm hmm And so, like, you had nothing but just cover in a restaurant that basically yes. looked like if Texas Roadhouse expanded to three shops. That's basically what it looked like. <laughs> yes. Like, it, you had nothing but bottles and bricks <laughs> just yes. and your pocket knife. That was it. And he was implying sex sexual assault he was like once he was done with you he was gonna you were gonna be food for the camp <laughs> like that was that and man shout out to old <laughs> to nathan Tell drake me. for voicing that character because yes. i did not know it was him i did not know it was him mm -mm. That, that was man <laughs> yes. now wait that was that was going north of that bitch yeah wow yeah yeah no yeah. yeah. north was david that was Nolan North, yeah. <laughs> now, um, another controversy, which is kind of serendipitous considering the month it is, many people thought Naughty Dog was pushing the LGBTQ plus agenda also, too. And personally, what I have to say to that is, get over yourselves. Like, it, yeah. Like, just get over yourselves. You can't you can't praise video games as being equal to movies, music, and other forms of art, and then have that art not represent reality. You can't exactly. do it. 
you can't have your cake and eat it too. Like you cannot, you cannot do that. It has to be representative of the reality. And they didn't even put it in your face. No, they, they saw didn't. they saw Abby and that she was basically swole and was yes. like, she's trans. That's why that's no. why I had nicknamed that's why I had nicknamed her uh swole Miguel. <laughs> But and, you know, like like Abby liked men. <laughs> we all saw that in the game. Yes. We saw the boat scene. So yes. like there was like there was no even in the, like if you were to say they were pushing the LGBT agenda, they gave you that 10 years ago in the first one. Thank you. Thank you. They gave you that 10 years ago in the first one and the expansion pack. They basically explicitly said Bill had a husband. They gave you the point in the expansion pack when uh, Ellie and her friend, when they first got bit in the mall, how they were in love. They gave you mm-hmm. all that in the first one. You didn't have shit to say about it then. <laughs> like Now you got problems with it. Why? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like, there wasn't even that much in here. There was just the same normal shit Ellie had with Dina and then Lev, which mm-hmm. did, wasn't even at the forefront. Lev, no. plain and simple, said, I'm a girl. I wanted to go out hunting with the boys and fight so I masked myself as a boy and shaved off my hair mm-hmm. what else what agenda are you looking for <laughs> See, and th- th- yeah exactly and here, here's the thing and here, here's the problem with that again people looking for a reason to be mad at stuff so so they pinpoint things but they don't they forget because they, they a lot all logic goes out the window when you have people that just try to get pissed off at something anything that they said was trying to push an agenda made sense in the story again Ellie they already talked about how she was a lesbian. Mm-hmm. This played into the story in the very beginning with her and Dina. And then it played out with um with old dude in the bar where he was mad at her. Continuing on story. Let's take Correct. out Abby. Abby, Abby got buffed so she could take care of herself. It wasn't anything about, you know, her trying to be a man or nothing like that. Again, she did like dudes. Perfectly fine. She just got buffed. Simple as that. Lev made sense. With uh, with the whole deal of like of the way that they carried themselves as a community, and they said that that was like forbidden, so they they marked her, they they marked Lev as um. What was, uh, it? I don't what even was, say- what was the term they used? It wasn't infidel or nothing. It was what was that term they were using? Because like basically those people, they took them out to that park, hung them, yeah. and then <laughs> disemboweled them. Like what was that term? I forgot what was they using. Did they right did they there. say abomination? I don't want to say they said abomination. I forgot no. what it was using. Look, all I know is it was bad, and I was like, "Y'all ain't about to touch this kid no more." <laughs> like, <laughs> and, you know, and you know, I remember, I remember a few years back when DC was doing their reboots with the comics. Mm-hmm. One of the things that they were exploring was Wonder Woman and the fact that there were lesbian relationships. And one of the writers was like, "It's an island full of women." That, what do you it, expect is going like, to happen? Like what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> like if, <laughs> like, and you got to think like most of these, all these women except for the queen, or what was her name, Hippolyta? Look, yes, basically the queen, the general, and Wonder Woman are the only ones who ever seen a man. They don't know what anything phallic looks like, so there's no <laughs> dildos on this island. So where do you think they get their pleasure from? <laughs> like, come on now. Like, <laughs> come on now. It, that's not a large leap. That is, that's a crack in the road to jump over. That is not yeah. a large leap to have, man. Like, it's it's like it's like Dizzle said. say it. You looking for issues. Like, yeah. <laughs> like you you soft and you looking for issues to be mad at. Like, <laughs> that's what this is. Like, oh man, like I don't. It's just like, let it go. They had listed in that article. Let me see. I, I think I still got it up. Hold on. Because like I said, I mean, it was just some of the same old, same old, and it was just like it mm. was like kind of like what you said earlier, Dizzle. It was like I don't understand how this can be in a TV show or this can be in a movie. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. Okay. Put it in. All right. So I'm looking at it. Uh, uh-huh. The first one is. Is stupid. Worst game ever, but you never played it. Second one is Joel would <laughs> never have made that mistake and trusted Abby and her group at that beginning point right before he died. Yeah, he would have. Uh, 
Yeah, he would have. Like, like when he trusted him and his buddy after they basically left him for dead. Like, you know, know, that whole horde came out of nowhere. You had no choice. (laughs) Shit. Uh, Others are saying The Last of Us 2 isn't canon, so they in their own little world and just. Wait, what? Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It says a a lot of people, but not a lot, but there's a, a group, groups. Basically saying that this is fan Last of Us Part Two is fan fiction and is no longer in the franchise's established canon. That's delusional. Yeah, <laughs> it's highly that's delusional. fucking delusional. That's the definition <laughs> of delusional. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, the next one is the worst ending of any game they've ever played. You've probably played three games in your life because I can list a whole bunch more. Yes, yes, um, I can list a lot of games that had a horrible ending. Whew. But uh yeah, that's all that's in that article. But worst ending, like so ending the cycle of violence is a bad ending to you. You wanted the character that you grew to love over two games to get her revenge and kill this other person who was justified in doing what she was doing and continuing that cycle to where if you had killed if she had killed Abby, we know for a fact. Lev was gonna come for you. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Lev wasn't gonna we know Lev wasn't gonna just like walk up to you. Lev was gonna hit you with that silent arrow from across the field, and you just not gonna know it's coming. And then no. you would have got upset with that. Like it would have just kept going, and then somebody would have came for Lev, probably Dina, and it would just kept going. It has to end somewhere. Like hey, now can we can we can we can we get a little comical a little bit for a second? Mm. Can we discuss the fact that while uh, 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 Ellie was on her second revenge tour, Dina moved the fuck out that house and took everything except for that one room. She took (laughs) everything, including the animals. She took the animals. Quick. (laughs) She she had that shit packed and moved back to that to that city fast. Like she had a workable moving truck and two U-Hauls. Like this is, <laughs> that was impressive. She said she was out and she was out. Like, said, no like she had a whole baby to worry about. Like, man. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. But, and then and it, it's, like, it's like, that's even more crazy. She told you. If you go, we will not be here. And what Ellie do? I right, fam, we'll see. And and <laughs> and Dina, Dina, Dina showed her better than she could tell her. Right. <laughs> All right. So before we wrap this up, uh, boss, any any last words with Last of Us Two? A year later, anything you have to say? Um. Yeah. Uh, if they do make a part three, I can't wait to play it in five years. You yeah. know, <laughs> um, I don't know if they do make it. I don't know where they would go. Uh, if they would continue with Ellie, or if this would be entirely new people, or if they would continue with Abby and Lev, I don't know. But if they do decide to make it, I'm cool. I'll be there to play it. So. All right, Mr. Dizzle, any last words with Last of Us 2 a year later? Uh, fuck the Rat King. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know what? You know what? I, oh, I'm glad you just brought that up. We, we, we might stretch this out a little bit more. Here. I was like, Abby, look, at that point in time, I paused Ooh. the game and telepathically was like, Abby, I don't like you. You don't like me, but we got to get through this together. <laughs> This motherfucker that came out as an amalgamation of everything. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. He got to survive. When that shit happened, because like you first get to that area as Ellie, you have no idea about this thing. Like you don't no. even go down there. This is an area closed off. You can't go <laughs> until you get knocked down that hall, and then old girl breathes in the spores, and she's like, "Fuck you," and then you just beat her. Abby goes down there before that. And then all them fuckers just start climbing out the walls. It's like, hey, man, look, I was moving so fucking slow in that area. 
Like I'm just like, <laughs> like don't I'm I'm getting my cursor on the wall. Like don't you fucking move. I'm <laughs> I got my back to open doors. I'm watching this thing on the wall. Don't you fucking move. <laughs> and then you hear that giant commotion. You're like, what the hell is that? And then you read the little notes talking about. This whole this was where ground zero in this city ground happened. Ground fucking zero. And then it's like you wait a minute. And so these things have been down here that long. That's nearly 30 years. Like, fam, what is down here? And then you realize it's all the ones combined into one giant one. Cause like when you go through that wrecked hall and you see the blood trail it has, it's like Okay, the trail goes this way. I'm going this way. And you head towards the ambulance. And it's like, okay. And an old buddy just opens that door like, hello. No. Let <laughs> no. Get, let me go. <laughs> like, I was minding my business. Like, you go over there. Yeah. <laughs> Man. You know, I, I totally shit. forgot about that until you just said it. <laughs> like, it totally like, slipped my mind. <laughs> like, man, you climb through that little window, he climbing through the back of the ambulance. Like, I'm gonna get you still. Like, mm, open this door, get out. <laughs> and I just started booking it. I'm throwing mines. I'm like, look, fam, this is I it. exhausted my ammo. I threw everything <laughs> in. Yeah, same. <laughs> same. And like, and then when it started, when it when you did enough damage, and then the what was it? Which one broke off first? The 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 stalker. Broke off and ran and yeah. was like, oh fuck that. And then I was like, okay. And then I'm sitting over here fighting the big one, and all of a sudden, the hell? The old buddy, he comes <laughs> back around for seconds. I'm like, wait a minute. Now you supposed to be hiding. Like <laughs> they up there trying to double team. I'm like, mm mm. It's <laughs> just that that fuck like man. I'm <laughs> I started a new game on my PS5 with the update. <laughs> I do not look forward to playing that fucker on the last resort difficulty. I do not look oh, forward to it. I'm good. I'm good. The final thoughts I have is kind of on the same lines. I have two, of course. It's kind of on the same lines of uh, Mr. Dizzle. Fuck the stalkers. <laughs> Especially <laughs> the bastards that hid in the wall. Fuck them. <laughs> Look, of all the new enemies, fuck them the most. Yeah. Look, especially when you had to go through that dilapidated building. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that building. Yes. The, 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 what was it? The hotel as Abby, and then the uh, the the where the office as Ellie, office where they yes. kept yeah. peeking around the corner. And I'm just like, look, fam, I see you. Like, just, and then you run up on them, and they just not be there. And it's like, no, nah, we just not gonna off. do this. We just not gonna do this. <laughs> like, like, I'm just gonna sit in this corner and I'm gonna wait for y'all to come to me. Because <laughs> no, nah, fam, I'm not about to chase y'all all over here. And you, no, nah, fuck them. And, uh, and of course, my last sentiment, Tommy, you know what you did. You a ho ho. You a ho ho. You a ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that being said, this is the first of many crossovers between the average gamers and the less than stealthy ninjas. But I will borrow from my man Lip Deasley here. Boss, can you tell the people where can they find you on socials, PlayStation, whatever? Where can they mm -hmm. follow you if they want to? All right. So you can follow me on Instagram at Cosmic Nerd Life or, uh, you know, on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv forward slash cosmic underscore nerd life. And so uh, you can also catch us at uh, twitch.tv less than stealthy ninjas. Same with uh, Instagram. It's all one word. And Twitch, check us out there because we stream <laughs> just about everything. And we got some, some good ones coming for you. We will be going back to Dead Island and Dying Light pretty soon. And so Ryan is going to get an art every now and then. Zerk is gonna <laughs> lose his knees. <laughs> so like we we gonna be in there. We gonna be in that thing. <laughs> uh Mr. Deasley, where can where can the other where can these people find you other than Black Planet and Farmers uh -oh. Only and Wait a minute, bro. <laughs> only fans and 
<laughs> plenty of fish and <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, 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 hey. This transcend shows. This transcend shows. This just ain't gonna tag me in. This transcends shows. But yes, boss, this is a running gag that me and Jaeger Bombastic do. That you know, Lip is on all these other platforms. He just don't want right, to tell. Well, people. in that case, you can catch me on Tagged and Cosmic Nerd Life. You know, like even on uh Aim <laughs> and Printer. You know, hit my Aim. You know, I'll message back eventually. You know, <laughs> I'll message back eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Go and, give oh, that, uh, go and give him that drug dealer beeper number, uh, Lip. Uh, you can, uh, I mean, of course, you, you you can find us on the tag YouTube. Um, every week we do reviews on AW and NXT and all that good shit. Um, as far as the socials, IG, Twitter, TikTok, all Lip Dizzle. If you need that positivity in your life, you can always hit up Lifestyle One Up to get the daily dose. Also, IG, TikTok, uh, soon to be YouTube on that one, but yeah. That's where you can find this guy. And, of course, myself. Once again, you can catch me with the ninjas on the weekends or whenever. Of course, let's tell the ninjas one big word. Of course, the podcast is on our YouTube, and it's on audio form. We're on uh, Google Podcasts, Anchor, uh, Spotify, and a bunch of other podcasts that Anchor ships our podcast, too. Of course, you can find me with Lip Dizzle and Giga Bombastic. You know, we're tagging in soon to be doing vote with your wallet again. That's you know, right. so you can catch us just, 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 you know what I'm saying? Just, just keep up with all of us. You know what I'm saying? These, mm-hmm. these crossovers should happen more frequently and more often. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're trying oh, to make God. this thing just grow into just a, just a whole conglomerate here. We're trying to, you got damn right. right. Trying to make this a right. conglomerate right. here. <laughs> trying to make this, you know, for the, for the wrestling fans, as Mr. Lip Dizzle like to say, you know, we can tag out. But as the ninjas, we like to say, we just trying to make our ninja village proud at the end of the day. Oh, mm-hmm. I like that. Thank y'all for like rocking with us. We'll see y'all soon. Peace. Out. And motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs>